We're delighted to be joining with um, Horizon Science uh, with the Minister who is launching the world's first low GI sugar. It's opposite that it is the Minister who does this job. He's passionate, as many of you know, um, in his portfolio. He's got, as we all know, he's got three portfolios, but in his portfolio with agriculture, um, agriculture, fisheries and forestry, uh, Tony Burke is just um, quite passionate about agri the ag agricultural industry in Australia. And he's also passionate about innovation and agriculture. So, of course, Logicane, the first low GI Sugar is a classic example of that. The Minister has um, been quite involved with this project. He's actually visited the site in Queensland. He knows the scientists quite well and he's been following the, uh, the progress of this sugar. So it's um, my great pleasure to introduce the Honourable Tony Burke, uh, the Minister for Agriculture, Fisheries and Forestry. Thank you. Thanks very much for the generous introduction. I uh, want to acknowledge uh, the traditional owners of the, the land we're meeting on here today uh, and um, their, their elders past and present. Uh, can I acknowledge uh, both Jim Turner, the local MP covering the Mossman Mill, uh, and Senator Jan McLucas, uh, who are both here, and acknowledge everybody who's involved with the project. Uh, what an exciting day uh, and an exciting announcement. It's, uh, I was hopeful when I first heard about the low GI sugar that it was going to create a, uh, a, new, a new permission slip uh, to consume unlimited amounts of sugar. Uh, it falls short of that, but it actually provides a new option in the market, uh, which Australian Innovation uh, is providing to the market as the, the first providers in the world of low GI sugar. Uh, and the, the GI uh, figures for sugar normally of 61, uh, this gets it down to, to around the 50 mark, around the 51, 50 mark, uh, which provides an option for people pursuing a low GI diet uh, to still have a diet that's sweet. And, and that is meeting a consumer demand in the best of ways. Uh, so what we have today is the result of a long term of innovation. Often when you get these innovation programs, uh, whether it was the provision from Oz industry, whether it was what the sugar industry reform program uh, put forward, people say, well, you know, what can you do with a basic product? What can you do with something as simple as sugar to be able to, to innovate? Uh, well. The answer is extraordinary. The answer is extraordinary. Uh, and to those involved uh, at the mill, which it was, it was February last year uh, when Jim Turner and I uh, went up there, and when I was told that we were going to see uh, a place that produced low GI sugar, uh, I, you're never sure if, you, if you're being conned. Um, you're never sure. And, and I, I did suspect that Jim was having a lend me on, on this one. Uh, but it's true. But it's true. And to be able to have a natural sweetener uh, that still meets the low GI, the low GI um, requirements is fantastic. There's a lot of history to the Mossman Mill. Uh, and um, the, the mill operators uh, who, I, who I met when I was up there, uh, Graham, his son Craig, um, it works Alex and Nick, uh, talked about their experiences and challenges in the sugar industry. And to see that there was a different approach to what's so commonly the approach uh, around the world, which is for people just to say, yeah, well, the market's getting tougher, the world's getting tougher, uh, and just saying that's, that's how it is. To combine with Horizon Science, uh, Dr. David Kanar and Bar Barry Kitchen, uh, and to say, well, we're going to go further than where anyone's gone. And it might sound absurd that you can have sugar of all products with low GI, but we're going to innovate, we're going to be in the front line, and the fact that no one else in the world has done that will not stop us. And we've landed now with a fantastic announcement that has made its way from Mossman north of Cairns to the supermarket shelves around Australia, uh, and I've no doubt will be found on the supermarket shelves around the world. Uh, so what we, had, what we launched today is the best of Australian science, the best of Australian innovation, and something that everybody should be tremendously proud of. Uh, and importantly, uh, that what it means for our own eating habits is uh, a product that essentially is associated with fun, uh, which I think is a fair description of how we all associate sugar. Uh, eating, eating the sweet food is always some of those, those happiest moments. We can do so uh, with a clear conscience, 
uh, and do so in the, the way that we have the, the low GI options. An option for consumers that was never available before, but is now available because the innovation of some extraordinary Queenslanders, both from the scientific community, the millers themselves, uh, and to, to all of you, can I uh, provide very sincerely and very directly my personal congratulations, the congratulations of the Australian Government and the deep thanks uh, of every Australian who will now have an extra option uh, when it comes to sugar. Well done, and I guess I, I declare the sugar launch. <laughs> Thank you. Doctors Barry Kitchen and David Kanar um, want to present you with the first ever bag of low GI sugar. There you go. Fantastic. Thank you very much. Thank you. Oh, this one, please. Yeah. Okay, thanks. Terrific.